In this video, I will try to describe the transition cool Norge AS went through when upgrading for the future but downsizing the workforce. It has been a work in progress since 2010 and it has been a challenging venture. It has however turned out to be a very productive and financially rewarding move for cool Norge AS. In 2010, Coop's board of directors decided to invest in a new futuristic automated warehouse. The purpose of the warehouse is to serve as a wholesale production facility for Coop's nationwide grocery stores. This facility would allow Coop to highly automate the production of goods with the aim of streamlining production costs and try to get an edge over the competitors. Coop was aiming to be the first in Norway with this automated system for groceries, although it demanded huge investment cost. At a very early stage, it became clear that the sheer effectiveness of the new automated warehouse technology would demand a much lower amount of workers in comparison to a traditional warehouse where workers would pick by hand. It became evident that downsizing was highly likely. The union experienced the flow of information surrounding the project, the downsizing and the transfer to Selog as good. Coop's management gave out information early, several years before the process started. Coop's management and the project managers held several general assemblies where all the employees were briefed on the progress. Throughout the project, elected representatives and employee representatives attended work groups and committees. This secured the workers' influence in the decision-making processes. These representatives were in general positive to the process, considering the necessity of it. In order to strengthen Coop's market position, a streamlining and new production facilities was definitely required. The focus was therefore to save as many jobs as possible. As the information came at such an early stage, the decision did not cause too much noise among the employees. Of course, there were some concerns. Especially some of the younger generation feared they had to find work elsewhere. Whilst others focused on seniority being the most important factor in the securing position at Selog. In the 40 plus segment, some worried if they were capable of the transition to a new high tech way of working, having to maintain and run a complex automated production line. Most of the employees voiced concerns about the new location of the warehouse. The old warehouse was situated only 10 minutes from Oslo city center. It consisted of both the regional warehouse and a central warehouse over two floors. It employed approximately 330 people. Coops considered several locations and included the employees through a vote between four different alternatives. Coop even surveyed where its employee lived to try to find a middle ground. Of course, not literally. The survey showed that 75% of the employees preferred the Gardermoen alternative and this is where Selog is situated today. Close to the airport and highway E6. The automated technology at Selog is delivered by a German company called Bipon and has completely changed the work tasks of the employees. A highly automated system delivers goods to workstations and to other machines. We have a machine called a depalletizer that will take a whole pallet of a, production of a product and divide it up into its individual collie. It will then connect it to a tray and send it to a crane. This crane operates a huge shelf system that reminds me of an old school jukebox. When an order from a shop comes in, the crane will start to pick up the different trays and send them to a pallet. Before Selog was complete, 
Coop sent 10 to 15 supervisors to bee ponds plant in Germany for intensive training over a couple of weeks. These supervisors were then tasked with training the remainder of the Guru workforce. The level of training turned out to be insufficient. And in an effort to strengthen individual skills, Coop and the union established an in-house training department. Two external educators were hired and together with a team of tutors, one tutor for each work area, they have the responsibility of implementing a self-developed training program. This program includes a one-week theory course with examination, followed by a two to eight weeks practical work experience. The length of the practical experience depends on the area of training and the workers themselves. The practical part of the program also concludes with an examination leading to the worker being certified in the area they trained. All employees get two attempts to pass the test throughout the trial period at the company. Employees coming from Guru in the transfer had no such requirements. They just received training and following certification in respective departments. After negotiations that lasted almost six months, the union co-op management agreed that the seniority principle was a top priority when downsizing became a reality. Co-op's management had argued that individual skills possibly possessed by younger people might be a better guiding tool into the new modern warehouse. But as I mentioned, seniority was to be priority number one. We agreed on a financial, financial compensation and career guidance to those who became redundant or opted not to work in the new warehouse. We have subsequently negotiated a local agreement with pay rise linked to the certification process I mentioned earlier. With each certification an employee completes, they will earn more. This motivates employees to acquire more knowledge and helps Selog get flexible and technically competent employees. This creates flexibility in holiday seasons, sick leaves, parental leaves, etc. This also allows for a greater variation of work tasks that in traditional that is not possible in a traditional warehouse. We believe this will benefit both the employee and the employer in the long run. In addition, we have negotiated an agreement, an agreement around the tutors, who together with the educators have the responsibility of guiding new employees through the theory and practical examination and certification process. This agreement secures these tutors a fixed compensation per month. During the process, we saw the need to rene renegotiate the employees' working hours and shift plans to suit the new logistics operation. The new warehouse is more like an industrial production plant and requires workers 24-7. We have therefore negotiated terms that favour the employees. Recently, Selog has become what we in Norway call a showroom for Vitron. By this we mean that when new clients go to Vitron and ask them what their technology can do, Vitron brings them to Selog. Selog has managed to exceed most expectations on what was thought possible when it comes to both productivity and effectiveness. And I would say cooperation between management and the union played an instrumental part in this success. The fact that Coop has a high density the has a high union density, helped us in the process of negotiations. At the transition to the new warehouse, there was room for 165 employees minus the service center. However, Coop is growing more than ever, and in 2015, they acquired a market competitor in Ica Nolga AS. With the added volume and the added employees, we are now about 300 people working at Selog, and there will be more. Expansions are planned in the near future. 
In this new way of grocery logistics that Coop now is pioneering, the union has learned many invaluable lessons. One of the most pressing issues now is that we must look at the employees' collective agreements, as the nature of their work tasks have completely changed. The workers also have completely new work hours, and we have gone from a traditional manual pick warehouse to a high-tech industrial production plant. The collective agreements must be revised to suit this new operation. This is our priority going forward. We as a union believe that the challenges we have faced in this transition to a high-tech logistics operation will be one other unions will face pretty soon. Automation and technology are the future. Is your union ready for it?